Canada vibes. Ooh. Let's wrap some presents. Ooh. Do it your own risk. Look how pretty they look. Sleigh bells ringing, diamonds blinging, carol singing, favorite season. Sleigh bells ringing, diamonds blinging, carol singing, season. Good morning. Today I want to wrap presents. So I'm literally at Target and we're gonna vlog wrapping presents because I'm literally so last minute and I need to do this right now. Hopefully, fingers crossed, because Target's been sold out of so many of the holiday stuff. I hope that they're not sold out of wrapping paper, but I'm gonna grow, go in really quick and grab some wrapping paper, tape, maybe ribbon, and head back to the apartment because I literally leave for Canada like in a couple hours. <laughs> I don't know if I should get a cart. I don't think I need one. I'll just be quick. <laughs> Handsome. I think I might be basic. These are kind of cute. This kind of gives me Canada vibes. Oh, I don't love. This is like giving me baby shark energy. I think I'm yeah. gonna do these two. So they just give me Canada vibes. They're cute, right? Yeah, these are cute. And then tape. I don't know if I like any of these ribbons. Okay, I found these ribbons. I think that these are cute. Okay, got everything. That was so quick. I got three wrapping paper because I feel like they they never come with a lot. The tape and then the ribbons. I think I'm gonna go to self checkout because I have not a lot of things. Okay. Okay. Oh my god, these are so cute! The little baby Yodas. I love the sound of heels. The sound of heels used to remind me of teachers, but now it just reminds me of bad bitch. All the bad bitches wear heels. Come on! Just gotta lift for the antlers. Three, two, one. Yeah. So I changed it to something a little bit more comfortable. <laughs> my girl supporting girls, pink velour set, which is almost sold out if you guys want to shop at allamoy.com. But I want to show you guys what I got for my girlfriends. I got my girlfriends and my guy friends different gifts this year because you'll see I got them, I think, the best Christmas gift ever. Really quickly, I'm going to show you guys everything that I got at Target 2 to wrap all of the presents. I obviously got all the wrapping paper. I got three just in case because you never know. It says 20 square feet, but I always feel like whenever I buy them, they, it never comes with a lot. So I got this one, just, just like a flannel. It reminded me of Canada. And every other bitch wears a flannel in Canada. It's like a Canadian dress code. Guys wear it layered. Girls wear it around their waist. Like, it's just a thing. And then a little car with a tree on top. I just thought it was cute. I really like the colors. And then I couldn't find just one tape because I don't think I'm going to go through three. But I got gift wrap tape. It was right beside the wrapping paper. And then to make it super cute, I also found this ribbon. I thought it could be cute to like, you know how Dior, like those fancy stores, they always have ribbon. I just thought it could be cute. So it has green and red. I'll probably use green and red. I can't see myself using the yellow or the blue, but I tried to find more. They didn't have a lot of ribbons. So I thought this one was the best one because it would, the green and the red would go. But let's wrap some presents. I want to do it near the tree. I feel like it's illegal to wrap your presents not near the tree. I remember me and my mom, it's like a tradition that me and my mom will like wrap presents and we'll listen to either Glee music, Glee holiday music, or Pentatonix music. Those are the best music, the best playlists, and the best albums to listen to while you're robbing presents. Okay. Okay, this is how my mom always taught me how to wrap. Excuse me. Move out the way. Thank you. Oh, we need scissors. Okay. <laughs> so, this is how we do it. I always put the long side towards the edge and the short side like that. That way you don't use as much wrapping paper. And then, let me measure it. Boom, boom. So I only really need that much. I'm gonna cut off a little bit. It's always good to have extra, and you can like tuck it, but too much extra is not, not cute. So I'll have whatever facing down, and then I'll get a tiny piece of tape and put the bottom, like more than halfway past the wrapper, or past the box. And then the other one, I'm gonna fold it so that it's around like halfway, and it's a perfect line, like so. Woo! Me piece of tape. Take, take that and then on the sides you do it a lot of different ways but I find the easiest is to just bend this in bend the corner in and then fold it over fold this so it covers about half so it looks pretty and then take me and then same on the other side oh my god I love wrapping gifts <laughs> it's just so satisfying I bet you probably find better wrapping gifts tutorials on YouTube my camera angle is not the best but you get the gist of it. And then one thing that I feel like makes it go above and beyond is ribbon. So I think for this one, I'm gonna use green. And I wanna have enough ribbon that we can do kind of like the Dior wrapping. So I always start at the front, go around. Mm, how long should I make it? You make it pretty long and then curl the ends. Do about half. 
fold it and then do the little bow right here double knot so she doesn't come undone and then the bow and the way that i make my bow look pretty is i kind of like tuck it bing, bing, and then bing, bing. make it like nice and curvy and then do at your own wrist but you could curl it, make it pretty. Whenever I do this, I always think of, remember in Elf, when the, the love interest, she's like curling her ribbons? <laughs> and then Buddy the Elf like interrupts her. She's like, dude, this is my job. Ta-da! <laughs> it's kind of a tutorial on how I wrap, but sometimes my hair does this. I swear to God, I'll curl my hair and it like goes the other way. You have to like make it go the right way. And if you want to be crazy, you can cut the corners so that they're little triangles. But if you don't want to do the little triangles, you could do it just sideways. I feel like sideways looks better than just a straight blunt cut. But time to do this to like a couple more. <laughs> I think, who do I want to give this to? Sierra, Paige, Malia, Alex, Brianna, my sister. Is that weird to give your sister a vibrator? She's 18. My cousin. I'll just wrap them all. But oh sh I forgot to get name tags. I could possibly just write it on the ribbon. That's what I'll do. Let me get a Sharpie. Oh, let's do this. I don't know if I should put it here or on the ribbon. I think I could write it prettier. I don't know if I should put Adeline or Blue. I'm just gonna do XOXO. No, I'll do Adeline. Nature Base, the number one source of Earth Some of these are I'm actually gonna bring to Canada, but some of them I'm gonna give to Andre to deliver to some of my friends. That way they get them for Christmas. If not, then I can just keep it under my tree and then give it to them because I'm coming back to LA probably after the holidays. But we'll see. For the guys, we have a little something, something. So I go up to Andre. I'm like, what? What do the guys want? And Andre the first. That he said it was weed. I was like, that's actually a really good gift. Because <laughs> that's something that everyone likes and everyone will actually use. So I, I did all the girls with this wrapping paper, and then I'm gonna do all the guys with this car wrapping paper. We get our vibrators from Canada. Oh yeah, sh I get my weed from California. That says sh this is the wrapping paper. This one's cute. This is more guyish, I feel like. Okay, wish me luck because these aren't in perfect boxes. This time I'm just They're all done! Look how pretty they look! I'm gonna put this all under the tree for tonight, but I bought way too much wrapping paper. Like, I didn't even open this one. But I think they were only like a couple bucks each, so it's not that bad. And I can also save it for next year because I always say I'm gonna save it for next year and I always end up throwing it out. So I'm gonna put all the Christmas stuff. I'm gonna try and squeeze it in that one closet. The ornaments I'm gonna try and keep. The lights I'm gonna keep. The skirt I'm gonna keep. And then the tree is a real tree, so she's not gonna last until next year. And then this. We're all done for Christmas, but I'm so happy! We're all done. I can put it all under the tree. Let's put it all under the tree. I've had like no presents under the tree this like whole time. Done. And I leave for Canada tomorrow, but my brother's here until like the 23rd. So I have like, is this hers? Yeah. I put a little Christmas present. I have a Christmas present that I'm gonna give to him when we're actually like with our family on Christmas in Canada. But this is like a little Christmas present for when he's in LA. But yeah, it looks so pretty under the tree. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Today's probably gonna be the last vlog before I'm gonna be in Canada, which I'm kind of nervous for. My flight's literally at seven in the morning and I have to wake up at like five or five 30. I'm kind of packed. All that I really need is blue in my passport. Like I don't really need to bring any clothes or anything. Maybe Christmas presents for everyone because I kind of have an idea of what I want to give everyone. But I also ordered a lot to my house in Canada and we can wrap more presents when we get to Canada too. And set up a tree. Oh my God. I think my dad set up a tree. He texted me. He was like, can I set up the tree? And I was like, yeah, because I'm going to set one up over here in LA. I'm so excited to be home. Everyone told me that it's not snowing right now, but hopefully this week it is. I was like looking at the weather. Okay, Google, what's the weather in in Toronto this week. In Toronto today, there'll be showers with a forecasted high of 8 and a low of 4. Ugh. Tomorrow, it'll be cloudy with a high of 14 and a low of 2. Ugh. It'll be mostly sunny with a high of 5 and a low of 0. That sounds like Saturday, slush. There'll be snow with a high of 1 and a low of minus 2. Oh, hell no. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. I'm going to end the vlog here. I'm going to try and pack a little before I fall asleep. But I feel like packing is boring because I literally am not going to bring anything other than gifts. And I don't really want to show the gifts because I want people to be like surprised. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Today's merch shout out of the day goes to Jamie. She's wearing her 
butterfly girl supporting girl sweatpants next to her tree come on queen and then today's tip of the day goes to no cities on instagram you just tag me this how you become merch shot of the day or tip of the day and their tip of the day says focus on how much you care about yourself not the opposite i feel like it's so easy to be kind of like what is what is the word self-deprecating it's so easy to be self-deprecating and make self-deprecating jokes i used to do that all the time literally if you look at my youtube videos from like 2013 i used to always make self-deprecating jokes and one thing that i have learned is that your body doesn't know the difference between self-deprecating jokes and like jokes about feeling good about your body You're, no 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 let me word it a different way your body doesn't know the difference between like joking about a self-deprecating joke and like that being facts whatever you say your body like truly genuinely feels it if you're like oh i hate myself oh i'm just fat oh i'm just skinny oh i'm just this oh i'm just that in a self-deprecating way your body feels it and you become that and that's when i kind of stopped making self-deprecating jokes because i felt like it really truly genuinely like tore down my self-confidence and it without me even realizing it, i know i was just joking but i started actually believing in it so i tried stopping and i felt like i felt a lot healthier and i felt a lot better about myself and now i only talk good about myself i only talk good about my body and obviously you talk to your girlfriends you're like oh this sucks like happens but I used to make self-deprecating jokes like every day all the time so taking a step back and trying to cut down on it has changed my life and the way that I look at my body significantly so much better anyways that's kind of random for <laughs> a random tip of the day for a griff wrapping vlog but I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog I'll see you guys in my next daily vlog tomorrow same place same time love you guys bye <laughs> you want to see what she was scratching on my door look at my suitcase Hi! <laughs> you gonna say bye to LA? We're going to Canada! Yeah, yeah!